Just wanted to do a quick video on this. So there's these really cheap chicken uh, automatic doors you can get on Amazon. I think they're like 10 bucks, something like that. Uh, but what's really cool about them is that they're very easy to hack. Um, they just use a single like uh, light sensing diode to determine whether or not it's open or closed. And uh, if you just unsolder that one thing and uh, pull the lead that, come, that goes to the, the microcontroller that's on the board uh, to ground, it will think that it's the same thing as light hitting the diode. So that means that you can very easily take power, ground, then this one sense pin and run it to an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi or whatever. And because the board already handles all of the, like, it not only does it drive the, the motor, it also handles the, um, uh, the state so, like, it'll open all the way and then close if you pull it high and low. And it'll stay open whenever you pull it low. And then the second it's pulled high again, it'll immediately close. Um, so it's it's really handy because it's one pin, no drivers, just super, super simple. Uh, so let me just show you the circuit board here real quick. So here's the... I've, I've taken the guts out of this. Um... It's very simple though. It's it's basically just a motor, a battery pack, and then this one little board. And this little board on the back of it here, uh, if I can get the camera to focus, right there where I've soldered that wire, that is the pin on the board that actually senses. It actually comes up and around over here, but because the, the board is inserted like that, I, I went ahead and just soldered it to where the uh, the sensor was. The sensor, I just I heated it up real hot and then and popped it off. Um, it came off pretty easily and it didn't tear the pads or anything. If you do tear the pads off of it though, it's not a big deal. You could still trace out where it goes. I think it goes to this first, it goes to this chip right here and then it goes to the bottom pin on it right there. Um, but if, if I'm wrong, you could very easily trace it out. Uh, so all you gotta do is, let me turn it on real quick here. Or was it already on? I think it was already on. <laughs> okay, so it's closing right now because it's spinning down. And then if we take this wire that I soldered to that one uh, side of the sensor, God, chickens are wrestling. They're almost ready to go out. So there it is. We touch it to it, and there it goes. And as long as we keep this on ground, it's going to stay in that state. Oh, I moved my finger too much. So now it's going to close again, and then it's going to open again. <laughs> Now I got my thumb on it real good. So it'll stay there. It's going to stay there. And then I move my finger. There it goes. So super easy to control this with uh, an Arduino or my plan is to use a Raspberry Pi because I'm already going to have like some cameras in there to watch the chickens. Um, and then this can control the door however I see fit. It'll probably use the internet to determine what time of day the sun is up and whether or not it's raining and things like that. Like if it's storming, I obviously I don't want to open the door for them. Uh, stuff like that. It's just neat. Really easy to hack. I'll put a link in the description for the, the actual chicken door. But I think there's like several of these. It's just one of those products where like there's a factory in China somewhere where they make a thousand of them and then a bunch of companies sell them. Or hundreds of thousands of them rather. Let's just take a look at the chickens here. They're, al they're almost ready to go out there. They're, they're so excited. I also 3D printed that. <laughs> All right. Have a good one.